Today, guys, we're going to be reviewing Uncle Roger's recreation of Jamie Oliver's egg fried rice with chili jam. This video just came out and apparently there's been a lot of talk about it. So today we're going to review it. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is James Amakinson. I've been cooking for many, many years all over America and Europe, and I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. And if you do, then be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. Two years ago, Uncle Roger reviewed Jamie Oliver egg fire rice, and it goes so viral. So today, Uncle Roger, I'm gonna recreate his fire rice, see if it's actually as bad as what we think. We're gonna make Jamie Oliver egg fire rice at my friend Auntie Liz's restaurant. If anybody's made Jamie Oliver's egg fried rice, then let me know in the comments down below and well, let me know what you think of it. And then sell to all the customer here. How are you doing, Auntie Liz? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. It's been a long time since I got fired from here. Yeah, I mean, you did try to kill a couple of our customers. Why you don't want peanut? I'm allergic. No, Next no, up. just eat peanut. Hospital very close, don't worry. So why my restaurant? You're gonna scare away all my customers. No, no, this is UK. Everybody loves Jamie Oliver here. Your customer gonna love it. And guys, if you want to visit May May's restaurant, it's in Borough Market. It's very close to London Bridge, the Tower of London, Tower Bridge. So if you do want to spend your day in this area, it's actually quite nice because you can go to Borough Market, you can go to the Tower of London, and then of course you have Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is the one with the two towers. London Bridge is the one next to it. And then of course I would recommend if you haven't been to London before to go to the uh, Tower of London. There's a lot of history if you're into it. We're gonna make it as close to original Weijo as possible. Okay, see Uncle Roger even by Jamie Oliver frying pan fuyo. I even got Jamie Oliver checkered shirt. Where do you get this shirt from, Uncle Roger? Oh, uh, Jamie Oliver, all his restaurant closed down. You just walk in there and take tablecloth. <laughs> Emotional damage! Egg, Egg fried, fried rice, rice an, an absolute, absolute classic. classic. And Uncle Roger got this recipe so consistent, delicious, easy and simple. Start with big pan. See, nobody use wok anymore, Auntie Liz. Now a few things with Auntie Liz's kitchen is she's using all inductions. I, she may have a gas burner in another part of it, but I don't see it. So this isn't gonna be the exact same thing as cooking on fire with making egg fried rice. It's gonna be different. And of course, Uncle Roger's using what Jamie Oliver was using, the frying pan. He's not gonna be using a wok. So you can use a frying pan if this is the only thing you have. Um, it'll be a little different though if you're cooking with a frying pan compared to a wok. I use woks. When I'm wearing this shirt, I feel like channeling Jamie Oliver. First step, spring onion. Take six spring onion. And Uncle Roger just cut off the white part of the uh, scallions, the green onions, and just tossed them. So you can use both parts. You can use the white and the green part. The white part of the onions, you can cook. You can use them for garnish as well, but you can because they are a little sharper, um, more like an onion. The green part of the green onions is a lot milder. This is why you can use them for garnish. They're not as sharp. You don't need to cook them for so long because they will wilt and they will turn brown. The white bit, you can cook with, just like normal onions. What do you think of my chopping, Auntie Liz? I still think there needs to be some uh, room for improvement. But you've lost like that much of Nobody use thing. this. Mm. This is like pubic hair who want to use this. This is looking so beautiful. Gonna be nice side dish. Yes, you could do this as a side dish, no trouble at all. Next, olive oil. Olive oil for egg fried rice. <laughs> this is white people oil, Jamie Oliver favorite. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I fucked up. So messy, Uncle Roger. Olive oil in a hot frying pan. And Uncle Roger's using what looks like extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin is a lot darker, or it has more color to it than normal olive oil because it's unrefined or it's been minimally refined compared to the rest. Um, so it'll have a lot more flavor to it. Now this is one reason why you shouldn't be using extra virgin specifically with a lot of well, dishes with cooking. Because extra virgin has a lower smoking point, it has a lot of flavor in it as well. It's best used for salads and dressings, but again, this will overpower some dressings. In Italian and Spanish cooking though, they do use a lot of extra virgin to cook with. In the North, we don't. One reason is because of all the flavor and everything else. The other reason is because it's extremely expensive in comparison to the other. It's breaking Uncle Roger hut. <sighs> Now we know what the next step is. Spring onion. We, we get, get them sizzling, sizzling straight, straight away. away. 
You hear sizzling, I hear my ancestors crying. Aiyah, uh, it really will ting. It's not good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody see that. Nobody see that. <laughs> We're serving this. I can't look. It okay. <laughs> it gave me all of a fire rice. If they get diarrhea, it expected. Disclaimer, if anyone gets ill, it's not on us. <laughs> In the professional kitchen, if you do drop something, a utensil, if you drop the food that you're cooking, you have to get rid of it. You can't reuse it. The reason for this is that there's a lot of bacteria, viruses, dirt, chemicals as well on the floor and the chemicals you can't really get rid of if you're cooking. So instead of hurting them, the best practice is to change the utensils, wash the pans, and if you drop a piece of steak on the floor, throw it out and start all over again. Next up, we have Jamie Oliver favorite. Packet rice. British yeah. people love this shit. <laughs> How does it make you feel? You got the exact same rice too. And it looks like it says basmati on it. If you have tried it, then let me know what it tastes like because I haven't used pre-packaged rice like this. That there are so many people here looking at your restaurant using packet rice. I'm gonna ruin Auntie Liz's business. Do you eat packet rice, Auntie Liz? I definitely don't eat packet no. rice, no. I, I use proper rice. This rice tastes almost as good as yours. Mmm, <laughs> so clumpy. Look at... And see what I was meaning about the green onions are going to start wilting or they're turning brown. You can see in the pan. If you cook them for too long, this is what happens. This shit. This stickier than teenagers sock this rice. Look at this. How Jamie Oliver cook with this shit? The oil all gone, the spring onion wilting. How he cook like this, I don't even know. Need more oil in it? <laughs> that what Jamie mm. Oliver do, hiya. There's a lot of people watching Uncle Roger make this. If any of you guys were present while watching Uncle Roger make this, please let me know. And if you have met him, then I would be very interested to know as well. Why my own crop roasting me now? There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure. It okay, editor, we cut away the part where I spill it. Okay, what next? Chili jam, fui! Oh. <laughs> it's brilliant for cooking. cooking. It's, it's got, got heat, heat. but it's it also got, got this sweetness. sweetness. Little bit of chili jam. Why got so many people here? Did you ask them to come watch us cook? If you look at it, because Uncle Roger's giving us a better shot, a camera angles of the chili jam, it is chili jam, it's jam, it has a lot of pectin in it, it looks like, and of course it'll have a lot of sugar in it. Um, uh, I don't know, I think he, honestly, I think he was inspired by using sambal and maybe substituting it, so I don't know, but to me, having this on toast, would be fantastic for breakfast. Putting this in egg fried rice for lunch or dinner, no, not my style. <laughs> you can see Auntie Liz just shaking her head. She's probably disgusted by seeing this. Look at this nice color. What do you think? Oh. Want to taste it? No, I'm okay. No. Oh. oh, terrible, <laughs> terrible. Oh. And see, Uncle Roger's using the spoon to cook with the egg fried rice and he's also tasting with it. And you see Auntie Liz grabbing it from him and giving him a clean one. You're not supposed to use the same utensils that you cook with to taste with because if you are sick, you don't want to get the customers sick. And she's also in a show kitchen. The next time I'm in London, I'm going to have to stop by and see if she's open. Crack the egg. Is that what Jamie Oliver do, correct? We crack the egg in there and then we fuck up the egg. <laughs> we only need half the tofu. Uh, and see, this tofu, uh, it has too much water in it. It's too wet. It makes it too mushy. And I mean, some people in the last video were also saying, yes, if you fry it and yeah, you could and add it at the very end where you don't cook with it. 
um, you can possibly. I mean, if you're feeding children is one thing, but to feed adults this, no. Mm. Breaking tofu, like how Auntie Helen break Uncle Roger's heart. No. Oh my god. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Here, lick, lick my hand. Lick. I'd rather not. Lick my tofu hand. We're friends, but not that good friends. Don't think dirty, Auntie Liz. <laughs> Is that why you do a peanut allergy guy every night in bedroom? Lick tofu off his hands. Yeah? Mm. I think uh, Jamie puts water in this next. Oh, yeah. Oh. You just see the look and the expression on her face. It says everything. Um, yeah. No, not good. There's only one thing in life that should be this wet. Only Auntie Esther should be this wet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Esther. This making Uncle Roger sad now. I'm making comedy channel. Why you torture me like this? This it's is so the sad. most depressing thing Uncle Roger ever see. Look at this, it just clumpy and gloopy and... If any of you guys have actually tried this at home, tell me if it's better or worse than what Uncle Roger is making. This is something that you would expect from, say, somebody that's following this recipe, an average person. It's not going to turn out the same as Jamie Oliver's. And he's also been quite messy, hasn't he? I mean, you see rice all the way around the induction, even on the handle. Yeah? <laughs> very, very messy. What is this? We can really can see your reflection inside. Mulan's, Mulan's gonna, gonna start singing when she sees see this rice. <laughs> Get a bowl. Olive oil in the bowl. Why? That's what Jamie Oliver do. Mm. What Jamie was doing is he was trying to create a mold. And you can do this with a bowl, with a ramekin or anything else. And not just with rice, with other ingredients. You can either use oil or butter as a lubricant. He shouldn't have used so much oil. He should have used a little bit of oil and then taken, say, a paper towel and wiped off the excess because otherwise the grains of rice are going to look very wet. And this is why in the original video you can see that there's a reflection off of the rice because they've just been coated with olive oil. He's just building sand castle now. You say sand castle, I say sad castle. Yeah. Jamie Oliver, egg fire rice. Yeah, yeah! Uncle Roger, just look at the mess. Camera, what? look at the mess. Look at the mess. What mess? Oh. This is what Jamie Oliver would have wanted. <laughs> Do you like the broken tofu? It's broken like my soul right now. In the professional kitchen, and even at home, it's good practice to clean as you go. We say this all the time. It means when you make a mess, you clean it. While you're cooking, you have nothing to do, wipe the counter. Because at the end, if you don't do this, you're going to be left with this. And you can see the mess that uh, Uncle Roger's made. He has food all over the counter. He still has green onions that he hasn't thrown away. He has rice all over the burners. The lid to the chili jam is off. The lid to the olive oil is off. So if you knock it, it can go everywhere. Uh, the knife's just thrown on the cutting board. The carton to the tofu is on the cutting board. He still has excess tofu on the cutting board. Things like this. Clumpy, a bit sad, but then they got this weird sweetness from the chili jam. It all sorts of fuck. Try? Just try, don't be pussy. What you think? What you think? It's pretty bad. Very bad. It's pretty <laughs> disgusting. As you said before, this tastes like sad. And see, I think Auntie Liz is being a little nice because she's just saying it's pretty bad. She's being professional about it, but this there's other words for this because this doesn't look um, doesn't look very pleasant. This spring onion, so flaccid. Peanut allergy guy is here for you. <laughs> this is your husband, Auntie Liz, and this is your new baby. Yeah, this is little baby Harrison. Have your baby tried egg fire rice before? No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to start with this either. You don't want this baby Harrison? <laughs> Try, try. <laughs> I'd rather eat a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> okay, and we got some customer of May May restaurant. Try. What is that weird sweetness? It's the mango chili jam. A chili jam, yeah? You really did. We might sell this at May May restaurant. A new dish on the menu. Tell camera what you think. Better than mine. 
Better than yours? Yeah, better than my cooking. Who you cooking for? I'm cooking for myself. Uh, I only use the microwave rice. That's why you're so skinny, because you're starving yourself. If you're yeah. cooking like this, Uncle Roger <laughs> gonna die from hunger. Hiya. And somehow sweet. Sweet? Good? Sweet, correct? That means your taste bud working. Yeah, but I don't like the recipe. I'm sure she isn't the only one that doesn't like the recipe. Even our camera woman, she's curious. It's not too bad. What? Yeah. Not too bad? Not too bad. I did much worse. Did you see all the other Asian people? They're complaining. Yeah, I mean, I'm Western, you know. It's good. Guys, try it. These are the people who buy Jamie Oliver cookbook. <laughs> Hi, yeah. <laughs> what have you been up to since I last filmed with you? Thoughts. Anything happened in your life that you want to tell our viewer? Had a baby. Had a baby? Mm -hmm. You also have book also. <laughs> I hear you got some nice book come out. I... <laughs> bleepers, bleepers. I'm just gonna keep like, like that when it... Kidding, kidding. Nothing happened. So you got a new baby? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Egg fried rice, an absolute classic. And Uncle Roger, hiya, fucking train. Get proper restaurant. Why your restaurant under train track? I know exactly how Uncle Roger feels. Oh, well, guys, I have to say that that was a very good video that Uncle Roger did of remaking Jamie Oliver's recipe. He had um, Auntie Liz obviously there to help him and everything, and he had a professional kitchen at her restaurant. Like I said, if you have made his egg fried rice with chili jam then let me know in the comments down below let me know how it is if it was better or worse than uncle roger i have plenty of other videos on my youtube channel and if you are interested in a good recipe or another interesting video then you should click on this one here and if you did like it then don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will see you guys again very soon take care